Hey guys, what's up? Another video today. I need to change that. I need to quit saying another video today every single day. <laughs> That's alright. Uh, we got a video for a viewer again today. Uh, basically, his name is Pulse Peer. Check out his YouTube channel. I'll put it in the description of this video. He asked a question about my speakers right here. Uh, not my new ones, but my old ones right here. My B1220 Pros. He said the specs look really good, but I want to see what you use to power them. Okay, that's fine. I'll do that for you. So I thought, why not? Let's bring out the new ones as well. My new friends. My B215 XLs. My new buddies right here. Single 15, single 1.75 for the horn. Single 12, single 1.75 for the horns as well as this one. So, I'm going to show you my mixer I use to power these. I don't have my amps here because they're in the storage room, so I don't want to pull them out. I'm trying to get ready for a gig tonight, so I uh, can't pull them out. So, stay tuned. Okay, so here it is. This is the master control, so as we call it. Um, I don't want to bring my amps out, like I said before, they're in the storage room. So, this is a powered mixer from Behringer as, as well. This is the Euro Live, or no, Euro Power, sorry, PMP3000. 16 channel powered mixer with EQ, digital effects, uh, faders instead of knobs. I wanted that. Uh, Say so Band EQ. Monitor mix, the whole nine yards. So, I bought this because I needed something really quick. I had a gig uh, about three or four years ago when I bought my old speakers. And I, I couldn't find an amp that was cheap enough. And I had a gig the next day. I'm like, oh god, what am I going to do? So I went down to my local music store. And they had one of these on sale for like 250 300 So I said, I'll take it. So... Didn't really use it that much because I was like, well, I got my L1 system. So, we'll get to that in the next video. I'll tell you more about that. Uh, it's got everything you need. Um, like I said, EQ with Feedback Killer. Does a really good job. And it locates where the feedback is so you can adjust it to where it stops. The little lights tell you where it's at and they can you can adjust it to make it stop. Um... Digital effects, these come in handy for larger gigs or any type of venue really. You have a hundred digital effects on here, including flat, so it just works. Uh, mono for, you want to run a mono, it's got a mono output up here, but I'm going to show you a feature that this mixer has in just a minute. Main one for your left and right sides, they're all combined. Uh, monitor 2, monitor 1, effects, fader. You got 16 channels with 8, eight microphone pre's. So that goes pretty good. They are the invisible mic pre's. As I put my head in the video. Sorry about that. And of course you have on here but the faders you have mute and PFL. So I'm going to zoom in on this mixer and I'll show you something cool. Now here's a cool feature I want to show you. This little switch right here. It says main left main right that's if you just want to use the main one fader for left and right sides in stereo second function is says on the left side monitor one and mono for B side and the bottom one says bridge which you know y'all know what bridge is combines both powers uh, basically what I do for live sound because I have two mains and two monitors I put it down here in the second function what that does it takes your A side of the amp of this mixer and it sends power to your monitors and you can put them in 4 ohms no no less than 4 ohms then your right side is, is a mono but you can do it in 4 ohms as well and you have your mains on your mono channel so that comes in handy a lot it's an easier way to power them. I don't have to buy extra amp. And of course bridge. You can only use uh, side B of this with bridge. Because it's 1200 watts 
of power 8 ohms. And you can't go to 4 ohms, you can't go to 2. So, that's pretty dang good. I mean, I only use that for like a wedding when I only have one speaker. I put it in bridge, and there we go. So, I'm doing the regular DJ gig. I leave it up top. When I'm doing a live sound like I'm doing tonight, I put it in the middle. And one speaker, like a wedding or a corporate event or something like that, or just a small area, I put it in bridge. So, yeah, it comes in handy pretty well. And of course, you got your EQ with the feedback killer. So, if you have uh, feedback on your monitors, you can hit this monitor one button right here in the middle. You push it in to get to monitor one. Then you hit FBQ in, and it'll eliminate some of it. If it's something really light, it'll just find it instantly and kill it. These lights will pop up on the EQ. They'll, they'll start flashing when the signal is making noise. So you can adjust it accordingly to get it to stop. So that comes in handy. And if you want the EQ in, if you want to EQ your speakers, that's fine too. Hit EQ in, the lights will pop up and you can adjust it to make your speakers sound different. So this doesn't really affect your speakers at all. The sound, sound wise, it just uh, cuts the frequency out that makes the feedback. So not much sound difference. I use this a lot actually. So yeah, it's all good. So stay tuned, I'll show you the back. All right, here's the back of it. You got two speak-ons right here. This is your A side of the amp, this is your B side of the amp. So, two speak-ons for balanced outputs. Of course, you got your fan right there. Don't block that, you don't want to overheat. Power button right here, and your AC in, of course. And right here, you got a little chart. It tells you your power ratings. This one is 300 watts and 8 ohms stereo. That's left and right sides. You'll get 300 watts each. Four ohms will get 600 watts each. Now for what I do, I get 600 watts. I, I do them in four ohms. So we get 300 each for each speaker. So that always works. And bridge is 1200 watts peak, which is all the power that the board can create. This is a, <clears throat> excuse me. This is a 1200 watt power mixer. Yes, it's kind of old. And I know the new one is out called the Behringer Europower PMP 4000, I believe. It has 1600 watts, same size and everything, and it's lightweight too, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. That one has a Class D amp in it. I think this is like a Class, I'm not sure what the Class is on this one, but it sounds really good for what it is, and it doesn't cost me a lot of money, so I just needed the amp and a mixer, so that's what I got. So stay tuned. Okay, now here's the back crossover of the B1220 Pro. My first speaker is still in excellent shape. A few scratches here and there, yeah, I know, but it still works. Um, basically, this is the crossover point. Of course, I showed you this before. You got two speak on inputs, all the info, all that crap on there. Everything you need, it tells you specifications and all that good stuff. Here is a small speak on cable goes in either one of these because it is parallel input. I can put it in either one and it'll work just fine. Now what does that mean? Well, if you have two of these speakers like I do and you use them for like a monitor mix or something like that, you got floor monitors, you could put one of these can be your power from your amp or your power mixer or whatever you got and then take the other one that you're not using, speak on output for that one into your other speaker and you just created four ohms so for your monitors or for your mains too if you have four of these and you want to use them as mains that's fine too so yeah they sound really good you've heard of, I'm not gonna play them live on the camera because the camera microphone isn't that great I mean I'm sure it, it is but I'm just there's no reason to so stay tuned I'm gonna go to the other speaker next to it now here's the back of my new friend the B215XL. It has something different from the other speaker over there, the B1220 Pro. This one has two speak on, of course, which is what I use, and two quarter inch as well, all in parallel. So, I use the speak on because I think it sounds better. I don't have to worry about a buzzing noise or humming noise. So, same idea, just a little bit different. 
Speak on cable. Stick it in there, twist it, boom. You're ready to go. And of course, speak on is a lot easier. Uh, it's better than having to run uh, like 25 quarter inch cables. Like for old concerts, we switch to speak on with our JBL rig for our big concerts and it just makes life so much easier. So, we're set up in half the time now than we were before we bought the speak on amps and everything. So, it comes in a handy a lot. The cables are lightweight and they help our backs too. So, stay tuned. I'm going to have one last thing to say and we'll finish the video. So, that's about it for this video, guys. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really good speakers. Both of them are. And the power mixer is very good as well. So, yeah. Just to get my facts straight. A uh, single 12 and a single 1.75 inch tweeter. Or horn, whatever you want to call it. A uh, single 15 and a single 1.75. Just the same as that one. So, yeah. They do make this in a 15 inch version. But, I don't need them. They're just really bulky. So I didn't buy them. Um... Yeah, so that's about it. I mean, it does a pretty good job. The mixer does the power of both of these. It does a really good job. So, uh, basically with my K-Sub, I'm running at 3,200 watts of power. So, it does pretty good because the K-Sub is 2,000 watts peak. I never have it at peak though, but you get my point. And this is 1,200, so that's pretty dang good. So, um, gig tonight, and... In Glade Springs, Virginia. I'm not sure if you know where that is, but it's about 30 minutes from my house. We're going to leave here in a couple of hours. Might do a gig log. I'm not sure yet. Uh, this stuff is coming with me, just in case. They have a sound system there from what I've heard. But, um, I always take a sound system with me, no matter what. Unless it's video. Uh, because I've had problems in the past with, uh, People saying, oh yeah, we got a sound system, we got this, we got that. I show up, they have nothing, or they have something that won't work. And I end up having to run back home and picking something up really quick. Or calling my my uh, boss and borrowing something from him. Depending on what's closer. So, um, yeah, this stuff's coming with me tonight. Uh, so, pretty easy gig. I'll show you what goes on and, oh, excuse me. And that's the video for Pulse Pier. Hope it helped you guys out any way possible. If you need more videos, let me know. Just send me an email. Send me a, send me a video response. Whatever you want to do. That's great. So I will talk to you guys later on. Uh, <clears throat> see you at the gig tonight. So practice and enjoy. Peace out.